Here we are looking underneath our 1964 Imperial by Chrysler. We'll first start off with the driver's side front drum brakes. Following the steering linkages and bars, we have our oil pan, our sway bar, and our passenger side. And as I follow the car down the middle, we have our transmission pan and the beginnings to our X-frame, which as you can note, has no rust. Our dual exhaust, our universal joint. And as I go down the center, we also have our two mufflers, peeking from our X-frame. We also have our rear end, our leaf springs into our shock absorbers, our fuel tank, and our driver's side shock absorbers and leaf springs. And as I do a fuel view of the rear, here are our exhaust tips. And noting that there's no major rust throughout this car. We'll go ahead and follow the frame on each side. There we have it. Here we are under the hood of our 1964 Imperial by Chrysler. What we're looking at right now is our 413 cubic inch wedge V8 motor. We'll first start off with our master cylinder and power brake booster. And as we move to the front, we have our 12 volt battery. We'll move to the motor where we have our air cleaner that's coupled to our four barrel carburetor. Our radiator. And on the passenger side of the motor we have our alternator, our distributor cap, and right below that we have our coil. If we go ahead and start the motor, spinning away. If you have any questions about this car, please feel free to contact us at MotorlandAmerica.com. Thanks for watching.